What is happening guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing my top essential graphic novel and manga book buys for the month of October, so stay tuned. <laughs> So the first thing I want to discuss, there has been a couple delays with some books I had previously on my want list. So if you think you're getting Spectacular Spider-Man number one this month, it's not happening. It has been pushed into November. If you think you're getting Aliens Omnibus Volume 3, it's not happening either. Also pushed into November. Hopefully, you know, it doesn't get pushed into December or further. So the first book on my list for this month is the Yodorovsky Library Collection book number four. So this collects the saga of Alandor, which was never previously released in English, so I'm definitely looking forward to this. Dio Samante and some selected short stories um, from a previous compilation book that he released called, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, something Planet. Screaming Planet. These books are turning out to be pretty awesome. They're high quality and a lot of these stories are out of print, so it's very nice to see them in a collection format. So next up we have some manga now. We have The Girl From The Other Side Deluxe Edition. These are three-in-one editions, so this collects volumes four, five, and six. Here is volume one. I absolutely love this series. It may seem like it is for a younger, uh, immature audience, but it is definitely not. If you're into post-apocalyptic, plague-like stories, this is a great story, some excellent world building. Um, there's this play going around that seems to be turning people into these beast-like creatures. This girl seems to be immune. Check it out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Next up, we have Hulk Epic Collection. This collects The Incredible Hulk from 1968 through to 1975. Issues 179 through to 203. So the first appearance of Wolverine is in here. I do um, enjoy these epic collection formats. They're a little bit expensive, but they do give you quite a bit of content. So, and they have been releasing this pretty much uh, in chronological order for the most part. So that is quite nice. So next up, we have the sequel to Basket Full of Heads. We have Refrigerator Full of Heads. Um, Basket Full of Heads was written by Joe Hill, who is the son of Stephen King. I really, really enjoyed that one. This one is going to be written by a crime novelist named Rio Ewers. Definitely butchering that name. So I'm pretty much just hoping for the best. Next up, we have a long anticipated horror manga called PTSD Radio. This is by Masayaki Namara. This is by Masayaki Nariyama. These are omnibus editions. These are two in ones. They seem very reasonably priced for around 25 bucks. Um, there's going to be three volumes in total. Also, hoping for the best with this one. I am a big fan of Junji Ito's work, so I am hoping it is a, a similar horror quality experience. So last up, we have Miracle Man on the bus. This book has some significant importance to the industry and the birth of Vertigo Comics. I always avoided buying the individual hardcovers because I couldn't find them all. So it is nice to finally have them in a complete edition. That is all I have for you for the month of October. If I missed anything that you would think I would be interested in, I would love to hear about it. Let me know what you're picking up this month and we'll see you, of course, in the next video. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.